All right, Dr. Mori, Uncivilized Vitality. In this quick video, uh, I need to do more of those shorts like Rendell was talking about. This is a quick video explaining to um, people that are new to Uncivilized Vitality what we mean when we say tools, and there are eight families, families of tools. So you can think of this um, from the sense that tools are something you use to get things done that you don't necessarily have uh, naturally. Like I don't have uh, claws and fangs and things where I can tear at, uh, let's say I take down a, a water buffalo, I don't know, I hunt a water buffalo. I jump on him, I wrestle him to the ground, how am I gonna eat him? I don't have very sharp teeth and uh, claws to do that. I'm not like a tiger, so I would use something to cut with. I need to bind things together so I can keep my hands off uh, instead of always holding it together, so I would bind it up with cordage. I need, need a way to regulate my body temperature better than my, because uh, I'm fairly hairless, so I would use uh, clothing. So we have eight families of tools, and the word family comes from the Latin uh, famulus, famulus, which means servant. So just like your family, uh, your mom, dad, siblings are your servants in the sense that they're serving to guide you into becoming a productive and functional member of society. The eight families of tools that Uncivilized Vitality uses um, are your servants to get things done. And a good way to remember that is we just draw a circle and like a compass rose and we've got these four areas going, going and you can put your tools at these spaces. It helps you think of your, your families of tools as getting you where you're going, uh, helping you get where you need to go. So you have clothing, you have uh, a book. We've explained about how a book is a way to uh, record, transmit, disseminate information across time and space. So books are all communication devices, but we use the book as the archetype of the family of communications. Clothing, we use the morigami or the cloth uh, blanket as the archetype of uh, different types of clothing and ways to shelter yourself from the elements or being out in nature. Coats, hats, gloves, ponchos, tarps, that sort of thing. We, um, we use cordage as a way to, as, as the archetype of the family of things we use to, to bind and hold things together. This could be uh, used with the clothing in order like sewing. This can be tape. It could be all the different knots and uses for ropes and twine and thread and cordage and uh, knots. Uh, there's just a whole bunch to that family that uh, I'm personally a big fan of. The... Um, um, other family you get down here are going to be like your, your bowl would be an archetype or your bag, uh, or your, your bottle. So these are going to be your containers. We say bags, bowls, and bottles, uh, but we'll just write containers for now. And this is mainly, these are the archetypes of, of things we use to, uh, contain our possessions or items, especially the bottle where you can boil or, or purify uh, potable water. But, you know, it's kind of like your, your shelter too becomes a container, so all the, the families sort of overlap each other. So besides these four basic families, we have some um, larger families that come kind of in, in sort of doubles, cut and dig. So the cut and dig family, and the archetypes here are of course the knife and the shovel, the uh, ax, the saw, things you use to cut and dig with. You've got a fire and light family. The fire and light family is obviously different ways to start fire, your fair searing rod, uh, your lighter, your flint and steel, your bow drill, and uh, lights, so torches, glow sticks, um, uh, uh, literal candles, uh, or our favorite, just a headlamp. And then you've got your salt and needle kit, and this is the kit of tool, the family of tools you use to care for yourself. Uh, salt as the archetype representing um, your electrolytes and maintaining your, your own health. You can use salt as uh, currency, you can use salt uh, to, to um, help with disinfection. You can use salt to keep up your energy, prevent cramps. So that's the archetype of this family. And then together with needle representing uh, tools you would use to repair your gear or care for your gear sewing something that's torn in your clothing or your bag being the most um, basic example of that. But it could also be your full med kit, uh, that sort of thing. 
And then the last uh, expanded, fa expanded family of tools is the sling and spear. And these are the tools that you use, the family of tools represented by the archetype of the sling and the spear to protect yourself from predators, from other human beings, and to procure food through hunting. And uh, these are the eight families of tools from Famalus to Servant. Uncivilized Vitality uses these families and uh, certain archetypes of tools. And you can even fit more modern things in there like uh, your, your, your cell phone or your smartphone fits under book because it's a communication device. You have a full trauma kit that goes under salt and needle with your toothbrush and your contact solution and any meds you might need. And um, we have archetypal representations of each of these families. You can mix and match, but you should always have these on you um, every day, ADC, all day carry, or at least in a bag that's available to you. And it could be something as simple as um, you can get a Bic lighter. This can be our craft next month. Uh, a Bic lighter that has some tape and twine wrapped around it. You could use that for fire, light, cordage. The tape could maybe even make a little boo-boo bandage. You've got your pocket morigami. You've got a, at least two knives on you at all times, maybe a multi-tool. Your phone serves as a book. I'm carrying these things around in my little fanny pack, and then I, maybe I'm armed and I've got my uh, pistol on me at all times. So I've got all families with me at all times. And as I go out, I just include, uh, I go out and I expand the amount or type or number of each of these families that's represented. It helps me get by. They serve me out in the field when I'm doing my field craft, when I'm being crafty and cautious outdoors. Uh, I use these tools with me all the time, but I also use them in my, my daily life. So think about that. Leave some comments below of other aspects of the, the eight families of tools that Uncivilized Vitality teaches and we use in our field craft in our day-to-day -to, -day to become less civilized, uh, to get out of civilization because as I've said, uh, or started saying more and more often, civilization is nothing but the sophistry and illusion of psychopaths, and I wish to be less civilized in that sense. So I got to have some tools, need some helpers. Leave some comments below. Other ways, uh, other other uh, examples of the tools. How do you? What do you carry every day to represent the eight tools? How do you carry it? Leave those kind of comments below. We'll get into discussion about it. Uh, other aspects of this we can talk about in the future. And like, subscribe, turn on notifications.